another one of our commissions is a much more subtle piece, and it combines the city's love of Shakespeare with our very modern love of pop-up art. And I'm delighted that Mark Rylance, possibly the finest actor of our generation, who I think will be joining us at some point this morning, has been working with us on this project called To Be or Not To Be, Shakespeare Encountered. And he will be with 50 of the best actors in London, walking around, walking around the city, talking to ordinary Londoners and reciting some of the most famous and evocative speeches from Shakespeare's plays and uh, allowing the language, the magical language of Shakespeare to drift into our everyday conversation. Mm -hmm. I can't talk about world-class artists and not mention Anish Kapoor's incredible sculpture, the ArcelorMittal Orbit, which will be opening in the Olympic Park next year. Anish designed the orbit with his long-term collaborator, Cecil Bolmond, and it's one of the most beautiful and complex structures in the city. I believe that the orbit tells a story about London, not just about art, but also about the two people who made this sculpture. Both Anish and, Anish and Cecil were born abroad. They traveled around the world, but they've chosen to make the city their home. And I think that says a lot about why London is such a special place for the arts. And we're very proud that we'll be unveiling their most ambitious sculpture uh, in the park next spring. You couldn't have a festival in London that doesn't include fashion. It's a city um, that is uh, famous for the designers that it's produced over the years. And we're very pleased to be working with the British Fashion Council and the Bazaar Arts Foundation on Britain Creates 2012, a joint project in which we're inviting some of the UK's leading fashion designers, including Sarah Burson, Christopher Bailey for Burberry, Hussein Shalayan, Giles Deacon, Stephen Jones, Christopher Kane, Jonathan Saunders, Paul Smith, and many others, to work with some of the UK's leading visual artists, including Jeremy Della, Dinos Chapman, Jess Wood Paddock, Gavin Turk, Mark Quinn. There are more, I'm bound to forget some of the names, uh, but they will be creating original commissions uh, for 2012, which will be on exhibition uh, for the public to see. I can't tell you right now whether they will be dresses or sculptures or digital artworks, we don't know. All we know is that they will be inspired by the Olympic and Paralympic values, and they will be incredible. In thinking about our programme in London, we wanted to not just show the wonderful, famous monuments and the historic sites and the grand squares. We know that London is famous for those. But London is also a city that is a collection of neighbourhoods, of public parks, of hundreds of small villages, and a place where people live in a very ordinary way. And we wanted to create a celebration that everybody could feel a part of. And that's why in summer 2012, we are planning the city's largest ever outdoor arts festival, with free events and activities taking place in every single one of the 33 boroughs, in the high streets, in the local parks, uh, in uh, heritage sites around the city. 